Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, May 17, 2021. If you'd like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we did rally all the way up towards uh, resistant at uh, basically yesterday and then was really rejected. So 20 exponential is an area or a moving average that has been major resistant in the past. We can go all the way back here, rally up there, break down, rally up there, break down. So considering that we are yeah, continuing this downtrend, which we have been in for a really long time now, if we take out these previous lows, then we are going to test back these uh, 89.64 and then probably also to 89.15. Technical indicators are all turning around. So um, yes, this was just a rally, mainly due to uh, inflation <laughs> news this entire week. It has become really ridiculous uh, how um, news um, uh, can basically affect these markets. And, uh, well, basically being, in most cases, completely bogus because markets are mainly driven by liquidity. And as long as the uh, Fed and, um, is, has its uh, expansionary monetary policy, is really difficult to see um, the indices and the stocks basically break down. But enough of bad news, that will certainly do it. So we can look at oil. So oil has uh, rallied from support at the 20 exponential moving average. Uh, we did have a really nasty day yesterday, also due to bad news, and then we rallied yet again today. So people are taking advantage of the falls towards the middle of the bullish band. So you can see when we broke out here, we have bounced from the middle of the bullish band several times. And at this current stage, it looks like we are gradually grinding up towards $70. That is going to be the target here. If we take out these previous highs here at 67.75, then $70 will most likely be where we'll go to. Technical indicators are fairly mixed. Uh, MACD is flat, stochastic is bearish, and the R CCI is becoming bullish, and the RSI is bullish at this point. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas did rally all the way up towards the 3.0409 and then gave most of those gains back. So um, it's difficult to say basically where we're going with this. We, uh, if we manage to test the 20 exponential, then we get a clearer picture whether or not it basically holds. We did get close to it um, four days ago, but uh, got rejected. And that was a really clear sign that we were going to rally. But uh, at this point, Technical indicators are fairly all over the place. Stochastic is becoming bearish. It's crossing the signal line right there. The, RS, uh, the MACD is flat, but it still is bullish. And the uh, CCI is bullish and the RSI is flat. So it's kind of all over the place. And uh, But usually when it trades sideways like this, it run and the 20 exponential moves this way, it will run into the 20 exponential and then continue higher. If we were to break down from here, then we would have a much more aggressive move to the downside, but we're not seeing that. So most likely that we are going to trade sideways and then bounce towards these previous highs here at 0 0.885 before going all the way up towards 3.3882. That is technically where this is heading to. So let's look at copper. So copper continues to fall and um, yes, it is kind of about time. It, it is most likely going to drop towards support down here at the 4.5 before stabilizing and then continuing higher. Break below the this range, it would open the door to the 50, and the 50 has been major support in the past. So, yes, many commodities were significantly overbought and uh, basically broke down this week, and copper is one of those uh, those metals that basically broke down. Technical indicators are still very bearish, so this could take several days before um, before starting to rally yet again. So let's look at gold. So gold has had another run at the 200 moving average. We have tested it nearly five times now and have not managed to break above that. We do have the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement right at the same area, right here. 
at uh, 1850. So if we manage to break above here, then we're certainly going to 1900 and probably beyond that. Technical indicators are fairly bullish. Um, we're on the edge of being overbought, uh, and uh, we're also approaching the top of the bullish band. So a pullback towards the middle of the bullish band would probably be the best thing for this market um, in order to gain momentum to go beyond the 200 moving average. So let's look at silver. So silver also hit bottom here at the 200, uh, no, 20 exponential moving average and rallied today. Technically, guess, they are fairly all over, all over the place. MACD is bullish, Stochastic is bearish, CGI is bullish, and RSI is flat. So it looks like we're heading towards the top of the bullish band yet again at 27.74 and probably towards the 28, which will be um, the next test for, for silver. We are in a really nice range here. A really nice channel where we're bouncing up and down and most likely long-term target will be 30. So let's look at Platinum. So Platinum has rallied from 50 moving average. It is doing the same thing that it has been doing for a very long time. We are, we have a channel right here and uh, one under, underneath and uh, we are just touching these support and resistant lines and then just gradually grinding higher most likely long-term target here will be 1300 if we break below here then we could open the door to the 200 moving average but it doesn't look like that is going to happen for in this market it is uh, very bullish and it has been very bullish for a very long time so continuing to rally towards the upside towards 1300 so let's look at pallium so Pallium has uh, finally uh, rallied yet again. We fell all the way down towards the 27.94 and uh, rallied towards the 20 moving average, simply later in the, moving, uh, in the middle of the bullish band and then got rejected. So we need a clear candlestick above the middle of the bullish band determined that we're going back towards uh, uh, 3000. But uh, at this current stage, we do not have that. We could tumble back towards the middle, bottom of the bullish band or even the 50 moving average before going higher. Technical indicators, they are fairly mixed. MACD is bearish, Stochastic is bearish, CCI is becoming bullish, and RSI is flat. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium is um, very interesting here. Um, it is, um, if you look how this has been behaving, the last a few months it has rallied to the top of the bullish band broken to the middle rally top broken down rally to the top broken down heavily and uh, now it looks like we're stabilizing here if we break below here then we will open the door to the 50 moving average down at 22 and 93 and uh, yes but we are stabilizing at the 20 exponential and most likely we are going to stabilize here and then rally back towards the previous highs Technical indicators of all turnaround are very bearish at this point. So let's look at nickel. So nickel has fallen towards the middle of the bullish band and has basically stabilized there and has rallied also. At this point, it looks like the uh, middle of the bullish band is holding and um, that is a very good sign for bulls. Um, MACD is uh, bullish, stochastic is bearish, CCI is uh, flat, and the RSI is also flat. But uh, um, rally here and, this, and uh, this, uh, support at the uh, middle of the bullish band, that is a very bullish sign. And that could mean that we're heading back towards 18,000, um, 18, 19,000, and also probably to 20,000. So let's look at sugar. So sugar is continued. Uh, dropping here and will mostly drop towards the 50 moving average after breaking the 20 exponential trading at 0 0.6092 technical indicators are very bearish for this market so it's very likely that we're going towards the 50 moving average as we are closing below the 20 exponential as that will be resist resistant now so yes drop towards the 50 moving average. If that breaks, then we could drop all the way back towards the 200 moving average. Has been a very wild ride for this market in recent, but um, but um, it got kind of out of hand and got significantly overbought as well. So let's look at cotton. So cotton 
even more bearish than, than sugar, we have fallen towards the bottom of the bullish band. Technical indicators are very bearish. The momentum is definitely to the downside. We are getting approaching uh, oversold conditions and we are at the base of the bottom of the bullish band. So a rally from here could see a retest of the 50 moving average or the 20 exponential moving average. Uh, but a fall like this and a stop underneath, way underneath the 50 moving average is a very terrible sign. We could drop to the previous lows here down at 0 0.7097 uh, or even the, the, the 200 moving average all the way down here at 0 0.7571. So let's look at Kokoa. So Kokoa, well, is all over the place uh, yet again. Um, we fell towards the bottom of the bullish band, rallied to the top of the bullish band, and have broken down towards the middle of the bullish band now. Technical indicators are fairly all over the place. MACD is bullish, stochastic is flat, the CCI is getting bearish, and the RSI is flat. So where this ends up at this point, it is uh, very difficult to say, uh, considering where we how this has been behaving recently. It could rally from the twenty. It could rally from the bottom. Could break down towards the bottom, and so on. Uh, frankly, a market that you probably should stay away from. It is uh, very very risky to trade. So let's look at wheat. So. We'd had a really interesting day. We rallied towards uh, 722 and then gave all of those gains back. This is not really looking really good for wheat. Um, it has been falling from the highs here of 766. And it looks like we are going to test the 50 moving average. That is what this looks like. Or we are going to test these previous, um, um, previous highs over here, which is at uh, 622. 83. That could be where we'll find major, um, major, um, major support. We can also look at the Fibonacci retracements for this, and we can see that the 50 Fibonacci retracement is just where these tops are. So we have these previous highs and the 50, uh, 50 Fibonacci retracement. So this should be an area where we'll find major support. If this were to break, then we have the 50 moving average, the bottom of the bullish band, and also the 61.8 Fibonacci uh, retracement right here around 60, uh, 661. And that probably will be as far as this will go. If this breaks, then we will drop all the way down to the 200 moving average at 614. Technical indicators are looking dreadful for this market. So, uh, and this is a very negative candlestick. So, Hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you good luck and a good weekend.